Hall of Fame track and field broadcaster Larry Rawson co-hosted the international broadcast of the Boston Marathon for his 43rd consecutive year. And prior to the marathon, he hosted the John Hancock Scholars and Stars event, which brought elite Kenyan runners to Elmwood School for the seventh consecutive year. Can you talk about the atmosphere here today? It, it builds your faith in humanity, doesn't it? I mean, I gotta tell you, um, I, I'm just so struck, Tom, every single year that I'm here. And I've had the honor of being here for about seven years in a row now. Uh, and thanks to Hancock, they bring me out here and just say, do your thing. And I keep it short and simple, but I want these athletes to really feel appreciated and the students, the whole thing. You know, uh, one thing I've used on television is the phrase communion. When you look at Webster and read the dictionary, the word communion is an act of sharing. And that's exactly what goes on here to the nth degree. You look around and all you see is teeth in the kids as they smile. And the same thing for the Kenyan athletes. And two of them, as I said in my speech, did say to me, this is a phenomenal event. They, it's something I never forget and I look forward to this when I knew I was coming to Boston. It's the first thing I thought one of them said. So it is great and in this day and age, we are all one. So thank you, I'm glad you guys sent this throughout the world. And hello Kenya, hello Ethiopia, and, and you're all welcome. All of the countries here in the Boston Marathon we will see you on the starting line on Monday. This year, Boston Marathon's men's and women's title were both won by Kenyan runners who appeared at Elmwood prior to Marathon Monday. He won a bronze medal at the World Teenage Championships. He showed his ability early on. This man is considered one of Kenya's really outstanding great future talents. Please greet with me his first time here to run the Boston Marathon, Joffrey Kirui! This woman has been an inspiration to the ladies of her country for the last 20 years. She is a legend in her own right. She has inspired athletes to train and be fit. She twice won the World Championships of track and field in the marathon. She twice was named the number one female marathoner in the world. She has won in London and in New York City and in Los Angeles, and we are delighted to welcome her back to Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, greet with me, Edna Kiplagai. I need your love. Joffrey Karui won the men's title with a time of 2.09.37 and Edna Kiplagat took home the women's title with a time of 2.21.52. 2014 Boston Marathon winner and local hero Mebka Flegzi ran his final competitive Boston Marathon and placed 12th overall. America did have a great showing in the marathon. Six of the top 10 runners on the men's side were from America, including second place Galen Rupp, who finished in second just 21 seconds behind the winner. On the women's side, two Americans finished in the top 10, Jordan Hasey in third and Desiree Linden in fourth. In the wheelchair race, the Swiss swept Manuela Schar of Switzerland won the women's wheelchair division, shattering the previous marathon record in the process with a time of 128.16. The prior record time was 134.06. It was set in 2011. Marcel Hugues of Switzerland also broke records while winning the men's wheelchair division. He narrowly beat Ernst Van Dyke of South Africa. He secured his third straight marathon win 
and his finishing time of 118.04 is a new course record.